Hey, this is Rocket Brand Surgeon. Today we're looking at the E100. We're following Oni Chan around. This is Siegfried Line and Encounter. Now, the E100 is a tier 10 German heavy tank characterized by a really big hit point pool at 2700. Just a great gun with 750 alpha and some of the most sturdy armor in the game. Let's take a look at the only real downside first, and that's the mobility. You can see that this is not a speed demon uh, with a top speed of 30 kmh and very slow traverse. It's just not going to be able to flex as fast as you might like it to, so prepare your actions well in advance. But that's not really its role in the first place to speed around the map. It gets to a location, it absorbs damage very well. And with that big alpha, it's able to make a difference in the game very quickly. So looking at the gun, if we look at the ammo, you're going to notice something a little bit weird. The AP round, zero carried. However, there is a lot of heat and a lot of normal HE carried. And this is due to the kind of weird penetration on the gun. I know people are against premium ammo spam, and I get it but 235 millimeters of penetration isn't usable. It can't, literally can't go through the weak spots of several tanks. So there's going to be an IS-7 in front of us, and let's say that we aim at the lower glacius. The lower glacius of an IS-7 has 255 millimeters effective armor. So we'd never get through the bottom of an IS-7. Ditto for a T110E3. Ditto for a T110E5. Ditto for an E50. Ditto for an E100. So there's like nothing you could do, literally nothing you could do with 235 millimeters of penetration. Don't use the base AP round. The HE rounds are very interesting because there are some tanks like the T110E3 or the IS-7 when they're hauled down they're practically invincible you could just HE spam them to death which is always funny or just load up HE when you encounter something like a waffle and just completely annihilate that guy the 750 Alpha is awesome you're basically a tank destroyer with heavy armor and a turret I mean it's incredibly awesome the platform on the E100 one of the things to keep in mind is your angling. Notice that Oni-chan is pointing his turret into the hill. He's giving his opponent a slight angle. And you notice the T757 Heavy is now ignoring him, and for good reason. When he angles the turret slightly like that, about 15 to 20 degrees, the turret face effectively becomes nearly impenetrable. So you can't pen the sides, you can't pen the face. Uh, the difficulty with the E100 is it's a very flat turret face and things with over 300 penetration are going to go right through. So in between shots you need to angle all of your tank about 15 to 20 degrees and you are incredibly hard for the opponent to damage. The E100 reverse angles around corners very well, so you should try to set that up whenever possible. The low damage per minute on the E100 is solved by that awesome alpha, so you might not be shooting a lot, but when you do, you're going to make a difference. The E100 sees frequent competitive play, often because there needs to be a location that uh, has to be held with just a gigantic damage sponge. Or, more frequently, it's used to counter autoloader spam, so a T57s will meet with E100s, the T57s empty their clip, and the E100s still aren't dead, because the T57s can only chuck out 1600 damage. They still have 1100 more to go, and a group of E100s can just sit there like, that's it, that's all you have, and uh, yeah, just outlast them in a big brawl. But yeah, the E100, a very stable, very reliable heavy tank. Oni-chan wrote up a full review link in the comments. Go check it out. Hope you enjoyed. Happy hunting.